answer the question. Next question. I'm not moving on until you answer the question. Single, taken, <coughs> married, widow, bachelor. Which one? Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I have Monique from Life with Mo Angel and we're going to be doing a Q&A. We're going to be answering the questions that you are dying to hear. So before we get into the video, um, I'm going to let Monique introduce herself and then we are going to ask you to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to our channels. Alright, Monique, your go. Hi guys, I am Mo Angel. I'm gonna know where you get Monique from, from Life with Mo Angel. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well for a good vibe. And as she said, hit that. Oh, cool. Subscribe button, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you subscribe to channel. Yeah. Subscribe and then you hit the thumbs up as well. Yes, smash yes. the like button. Yeah. <laughs> smash the hair or like the like it. button. And yeah. like broke it. No, they not broke it, <laughs> but take time, but make it turn blue. Yeah. Right. So even before you start what no, but then we can't like it before you start. Yes, like the like video. the video yes. before you start watching. Because from your Simonique and from your session, you know the video is epic. So right. like the video. Alright? Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's get into the video. So guys, um as you know. She's a traveler, so we have a full eye with them for the day, yeah? But she can't carry with her to one of them here because she just have one, so. <laughs> Alright, so of all the countries you've traveled, right? Mm -hmm. Which three would you say is your favorite and why? Um, Definitely without a doubt, Malaysia. I love Malaysia. Why I love Malay? Alright, let me tell you the first. The countries I love first. Wait. Mana stop or mana but you still wanna go back to Malaysia, bring some Malaysia. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm yeah. enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm enough. Alright, so I love Malaysia. Um Cambodia had a little vibe. And I love but I love Dubai. Oh god. Dubai. Jesus, I'm not tell them go watch the vlog. <laughs> like my birthday was in Dubai and the vlog was epic. You have to watch that. Yeah, so, the link will be in yeah, the, the link will be in the description. But Dubai was definitely like Dubai is like a lot of gold. Like most of the buildings and so it's lined with glass and gold. It's really, really, really lovely. So I love Dubai, nice. but um, why I love Malaysia is because it felt like home. So it felt like Jamaica a lot. It was very chill. Um, I did a lot of shopping. Um, the living space was just really chill. And then the persons on the complex where I lived, they were very friendly and homely and cooked Jamaican food. And then we found a Jamaican restaurant. You found a Jamaican what? A Jamaican restaurant. Oh, my thing is that you found a Jamaican man. <laughs> no. So I found this really nice, it was a Jamaican cafe. So they did like Blue Mountain coffee and all of that. It was so good. But that again, I'm going to put that in the description because I did a video about that as well. Check out the video guys. Yes. Believe me. Cambodia now. Cambodia, I like Cambodia not because of the space, but because of the people that I met. So like the family that hosted me, they were so kind. Like, um, really kind. I mean, they come, they bring dinner, they ask if you wanted anything in the days, and they would come check on you. Just very hospitable. Yeah, basically. Yeah, you know, and then it was coming closer to the end of the trip. So it's like, you're missing home, and you want to go home, and you miss your mom, you miss your friends. And then the host, her mom was there, and she offered to cook everything. It was just, it was just home. My question for you is why did you decide to start YouTube? Well, um I think it um it has something to do with the Ace family. Mm -hmm. Right? I've always um always seen my friends, you know, both oh the Ace family are so fun, blah blah blah. So one day I decided to check them out and in doing so 
I, you know, booked up on a few other YouTubers and I was like, this is interesting, you know, this is something I would see myself doing and I'm a friendly person and I like, you know, have a good vibe and something. Why not just, Try you know, and then I started my business and I see this as a means, another medium of promoting my businesses and so forth. So I said, mm -hmm. okay, let me just go ahead and get this story. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough, guys. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, what gave you that drive to actually start traveling the world without me? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> to start traveling the world. Um, wow, that's a good question. I know. It's <laughs> a really good question. Um, to be honest, I really love traveling. Like from an earlier age, I really love like even country in the yes, place. in Jamaica. Like <laughs> yeah. yes, yes. So like drive go down Saint Mary, Saint. It just drive, enjoy the country, and so so I really love traveling. But then um, when I left my job and I started freelancing, which is working online, I started um, being a freelancer online. And then I realized I had the flexibility to be wherever I wanted to be and still work. I didn't have to be in Jamaica working. So one day I was just there bored and I'm like, I would do something. And <laughs> my friend was like, um, I always wanted to, to go to Thailand. I was like, but if we go to Thailand, then we might as well just go to other countries in that region. And we thought about it for some while. I was like, okay, don't that sound like a tour? Mm -hmm. That sounds interesting. So I was like, all right, a tour because we can work from anywhere and we can see the world. So we can see the world and work. So I was like, you know, why not? Uh, my question for you. Sure. Have you ever met anyone famous? Mm -hmm. Yeah, myself. <laughs> Kidding. Um, bye bye. Cool. You've met me, <laughs> girl. That is true. That is true. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bye bye. Anybody meet me next? No. Everybody meet me. No, I haven't. I, I mean, I haven't met as in. Twins have twins, the mama cousin, but them don't know me. Make up twins have twins? <laughs> <laughs> One anymore, but okay. I'm a cousin, make up on myself. Alright, see that? So, for persons who actually watches her video, she got everywhere, right? And most of the places that she actually, you know, been, I mean, where she get the money from? Where she get the money from? How do you fund your travels? <laughs> <laughs> um, we're not answer that. <laughs> um, do you know why I know? Yes, people in one. Do you really want to know that? Like, if you know why I know, like the video. Comment. Do you really right? want to know that? If you really want to know that and you want to know what I do and how I afford my travels, okay. comment below and I will do another video explaining how I finance my travels. How about that? And if y'all don't comment nor like, she's not going No to response to that. So but you can tell me you yeah, so so yeah. next question. What advice would you give to upcoming YouTubers? Because guys, let me tell you, she only started her channel a month or a, a little bit over a month ago and she's doing really well so um, that's one of the reasons why I picked her to do the PA with me because she's doing really well so what advice would you give to persons who are just starting out and sometimes probably feel discouraged all right first and foremost if it is something you're in the long run for don't give up Create your content, stick to a niche. I mean, if you're starting out, you probably don't have one thing you want to stick to. But doing various videos, at times, you know, persons are attracted to a certain content. 
So if you, if you see that a certain video, you know, is getting a certain amount of views and likes, you know, it, oh, okay, so they're more interested in this video, stick to that niche, right? Which means over time, you will have more views and more persons subscribing to your channel. There's also another thing called sub for sub. Don't not do that. None at all. That will hurt your channel, right? Because say, I do cooking and Shal does gaming. No, hit her DM, sub for sub. Mm -hmm. We sub to each other. I am not interested in gaming and she is not interested in cooking. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, my subscriber caught going up, but my views is like this mm -hmm. and it don't look good. Yes. It don't cute, right? So if it is you're going to do that, at least, you know, hit up persons that yeah, you both share the same yes. content and stuff like that. At least, you know, Oh, so I'm doing this video. I see her. So let me check out her video and see what you know she's coming with. Yeah, because right? to be honest, it doesn't make any sense. You subscribe to someone and then you don't interact with their channel. If you subscribe to a person's channel, you have to at least watch one of their videos. And it don't make sense. You click on the video and then you click off same time it hurts us as young youtubers so if you click on the video watch some of the video yeah if it's at least two minutes or three minutes yep okay yep and guys just don't be discouraged just post videos be consistent interact with others and just do your best i mean do you and you will be great but you have to ensure you promote your channel so still go to person ask them to like your videos watch your videos to share your videos you have friends and your family hit them up you don't have this yeah you know and let them help you so your channel will go well you heard it she's doing really well so you should take her advice and subscribe to my channel <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna put the bell right here all right um your question to me no you're traveling to all these white countries. Monique, <laughs> is only travel question, Monique, Alpha, Monique, with all these white people. And we know racism is real. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Racism is real. It still exists. And being dark-skinned, beautiful, dark-skinned female, have you ever been a victim of racism? Um, well, to be honest, I'm not going to say that I've been a victim of direct racism indirect maybe but as i shared in another vlog there was an instant when i was in jakarta um in indonesia and persons were for want of a better word fascinated with my color and my kind so you had persons um taking pictures of so is the first time i seen nice beautiful melanin they were People take picture of me against my will, like um, the recording. We're in the airport, and in my video, if you watch the video, you will see I'm in the airport, and this lady walks up to me and she touches me on my shoulder. And by the time I turn around to the lady and look, I'm looking directly into her husband's camera. So she was ready and posing to take the picture with me. No, because you like you're actually famous. No, actually you're famous. You know me. They heard about Have you heard about her about me? But listen, I'm telling you. And then um, it became it became a point of curiosity for me. So when I went to Bali, I was asking um, when a police officer was asking why are persons doing this? Why are persons taking my photo without my permission? Because he was one of them was asking if he could take a picture with me. So I was asking why do persons do this? And he was explaining that um, they don't see persons like us often one and then two i don't know if if he was just trying to bottom me up or what but then he gave me a compliment and said it's because i'm pretty <laughs> because he likes how i look so that's his reason but he thinks that other persons do it because they don't see persons like me <laughs> sure so yeah but i haven't um really encountered any direct racism from anybody I, I know that i see persons like look at you funny and especially when you are in malaysia and they think you're an, uh, a nigerian they look at you but i can't get into that i probably have to share where are you that from <laughs> i probably have to share that on another video but when they think you're from nigeria in malaysia if you know you know so my question for you what weird food combination do you enjoy 
Well, I wouldn't say it is weird, mm -hmm. but no, sir, that's not weird. Red I mean. People don't really go to Jakarta, so tourists don't really go to Jakarta as much as they go to Bali. So when we present ourselves in Jakarta, the immigration officer and everybody was like, "You come Jakarta? Why? Pull me out of the line. Pull me out of the line. Search our things. Everything. Just so I have no reason to go back to Jakarta. Miss, you no. two come out by my friend. No, no." All right, so in light of all that's going on right now with the um, coronavirus and everything and being inside, what's your new normal like? Video. I found my phone. I mean, it's the same. Mm -hmm. If you know me, you know I don't do outside. Mm -hmm. Normally, like outside only some of face when my ex-partner and I was going out or if I'm going by him but I'm always inside I don't like people, I joke, I love people but I enjoy being in my bed with my phone and I work from home mm -hmm. so yeah so I and don't mind staying inside unlike you know we know people like you must are mad but I'm always inside I saw a tweet the other day that said, I can't wait to walk down the aisle. And here, this is your captain speaking. I cannot wait to go back on a plane. I cannot. But it's not really like much different from me. Enjoy your No? No, because I, I work from home. Oh. Regardless, wherever I'm at, I work from home. So, um, being here in Jamaica is just that I'm grounded and I can't be thinking, okay, I'm going to be leaving in a month's time. Like I was planning to do, yeah. I have to just say, all right, I'm just going to wait this out here in Jamaica until it's all done, and then I can go forward but again. I know once the place open up, 
me I do road, road off a do, road off a tekan. And me, I reach a Dubai with you. <laughs> <laughs> now you see me, <laughs> now you don't. <laughs> I don't want to scare you. I don't want to scare you because I want to smile and I want to go like. So, mm -hmm. basically, I know you probably want to ask her this too. So, yeah. Based on observation mm -hmm. from all the videos I've watched, mm -hmm. there's no significant other in videos, no mention of a significant other. So, ding, ding, ding. Taken, mm -hmm. single, married, widow. Wow. <laughs> We're curious, right? And we not know me how there to the end of this video. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Answer the question. Next question. I'm not moving on until you answer the question. Single, taken, <coughs> married, widow, bachelor. Which one? Hopeful. Get up the pants. Hopeful, no. Hopeful. Well, I'm going to see how we're going to work on the one day. <laughs> yeah. My question to you Who would be your ultimate dinner guest and why? One eternity later. So when was the last time you went on a date? Oh, mm -mm -mm. November or December? When did you remember? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So sad you had time to think about who you would want to go on a date with if ever the opportunity comes. No. No? Mm -mm. Okay, all right. No? No? Okay. Mm -mm. All right. Next. Okay. I'll, we'll no. get back. All right. Because yeah. we really can't take bone over there right now. All right. Come. You want to go on a date with me? Dinner, date. <clears throat> See there, you have bread, wine, and I can give you a bread and milk. I know. So the date <laughs> I did in a stone bar. That's the date I did in a stone bar. Nobody never did that for that. Unique. See that? Bread and milk over some wine. See? There we go. Yeah. So it's basically her norm, the red wine, and I'm introducing something new to her. Yes. So we're coming out of quarantine in four. Right. Learning new things. See what yeah. yeah. Alright. Alright, so your last question to me. Okay, so what are three words you would use to describe mission? The great Miss Hall. Thank you very much. The exclusive. <laughs> um, hmm. Caring. I'm very caring, and I think it comes naturally with me being a Pisces. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Yeah, and I, I, I genuinely love to ensure that people are okay. Um, another word. It's more of a phrase than a word. Old soul. I'm very old soul. Um, yeah, I'm very, I'm very old soul. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> old souls. I'm a, from one old soul to a next. I'm with you. Okay. Um, and um, the third thing, I'm very uh, well ambitious. Ambitious. I stop at nothing to get what I want. If I want something, I have to get it. And that's just it. Same. Yes. Um, actually, I'm going to end that with the same question for you. Three words to describe yourself. Sure. Um, as the last word she chose, ambitious. I am very ambitious as well. And as she said, I stop at nothing. Nothing. Determination is the key. You want it, you go after it. I mean, there will be obstacles and stumbling blocks, but brother, just get up that. again, mm -hmm. yeah, and continue. Um, I'm resilient, so something bad happens. I mean, we will be down, probably down for a while, uh -huh. or so, but, mm -hmm. but just bounce back like nothing ever happened. Mm -hmm. And it, my friends, they look up to me a lot, mm -hmm. 
and they're always, you know, this really appreciate that. But yeah, I'm really kind. I'm friendly. She is. She is. She is. Um, the story how we met, she reached out to me, all that she and I can attest for the things that she has said based on what I've seen of her so far. She she never tell a lie. So Alright. So there you have it guys. You know a little bit more about your girl Shay and you know a little bit more about your girl oh, Angel. Alright. So we've come to the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, share this with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channels. Right. Hit, you see that button right down there, that red button called subscribe. That like, just comes up. And hit the bell, guys. Yes. So each time we post a video, you will know. All right, Mo and Joy just posted. Okay, Sha just posted. Yes. All right. All right, so the name of Mo, Mo Angel's channel is Life with Mo Angel. And of course, you know I am Shay from All oh, Many days. days. All right, so check us out. Follow us on Instagram as well. What's your Instagram handle? Life with Mo Angel underscore. And I am, I am Shal, and my business page is All My Days. Okay. All right, so thank you so much, guys, for watching. And we will see you next video. Mwah. Love you all.